Hi. I think it's important that people are able to talk about their experiences. I think that's important. However, this is not doing that. And let me show you here. So we've got uh, we've got this article from the American Mathematical Society. Now it is a blog, so it's not an official article, but uh, yeah. Um, not to alarm you, but I probably want you to quit your job or at least take a demotion. Statistically speaking, you are probably taking up room that should go to someone else. If you are a white cis man, meaning you identify as male and you were assigned male at birth, you almost certainly should resign from your position of power. That's right, please quit. Too difficult? Well, as a first step, at least get off your hiring committee, your curriculum committee, and make sure you've, you're replaced by a woman of color or trans person. Don't have any in your department? Well, how shocking. And uh, she goes on to say some of the, the standard things that you'd expect. And uh, but eventually there was this. Uh, there was this. I was just like, you gotta be fucking kidding me. What can universities do? Well, that's easier. Stop hiring white cis men until the problem goes away. If you think this is a bad idea or an unserious idea, your sexism, racism, transphobia is showing. The fuck? No, this this is not about you talking about your experiences. This is about you judging everyone else. Okay, I've got no problem with people talking about their experiences. This is not doing that. Oh yes, this is not about shame or guilt. Those things are useless. This is about shifting perspective. I know you're not going to quit your job, but I want you to understand that you should. And to understand that by keeping your job and your other unearned privileges, and to understand that by keeping your job and your other unearned privileges, you are running a continued debt to the marginalized people, and you should always be seeking ways to pay us back. Wow. Not to alarm you, but statistically speaking, you are the problem. Your very presence. I can't tell you what is the best strategy for you to stop blocking my path. I can just ask that you please get out of my way. Man, this, 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 this shit is insanity. It's just this. Yeah, look, okay, if you hate capitalism that much, then say that you want to end capitalism, okay? Because that's fine. If that's, your, if that's your stance, then fine, that's your stance, okay? I don't, I, I don't see that money. <laughs> I, let's see. Capitalism has a lot of problems, okay? And it would be nice if we were able to transfer uh, uh, over to something else. But that situation hasn't come up yet. To me, that's going to happen when capitalism starts to crumble, when we uh, start to see the negative effects of automation and how far automation is going to go. That's where uh, we're going to see capitalism start to crumble. And then we have to think about other things. But... To try to uh, get rid of the meritocracy or any sense of a meritocracy and replace it with, oh, well, you get a job because you're this demographic. No, no, fuck you. Okay, as I've said, if I see too much more of this shit, okay, and instead of, you know, the, the, the route that we've been going for so many years, which is... You know, try to have anti-discrimination policies, have it so you can sue an employer if, if you can prove that, that they, they didn't hire you or they fired you for bullshit reasons, okay? And continue to add more people to the list of those you can't discriminate against. That's totally good. That's a, to that's a great thing. But this shit, well, I should point this way. This shit, <laughs> perfect equity equality of outcome. No, it just doesn't work that way. Sorry. If you hate capitalism that much, and you hate this country that much, try to do something to improve the way this country is. Don't try to turn this into a completely different fucking country. Okay? 
Now, I understand you feel marginalized. You should talk about that. That's fine. But these answers you're giving are bullshit. They're utter tripe. Okay, and I guess I didn't finish what I was saying before. If this is the kind of shit that we're going to continue to see instead of the kind of anti-discrimination policies we've had and been pushing forth for a long time, then I'm going to side. I'm going to start to side. And I've already said this before. You know, this is close to the final straw for me. This article here. I will switch over to the idea that people should be able to discriminate against whatever the fuck they want. Because that's a better alternative than this shit that we're seeing here. Okay, I'm sick of this shit. See, here, here, here's, here's the part that just get, where it just gets kind of messed up. It is fundamentally unfair and marginalizing for IQ tests and mathematics curriculum to be designed around the same white supremacist his cis heteronormative standards. This oh god, I fucking hate that. Oh, I hate the phrase heteronormative. I fucking hate it. I'm a gay man. I fucking hate that phrase. The phrase is bullshit. It's like trying to guilt. It's like essentially trying to guilt straight people for being straight. Oh, well, there's, there's more of you, so you're seen more often. Oh, boo-hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo. So there's more straight people, and most things are geared towards straight people. That's the way it is. Gay people make up less than 5% of the population. So shut the fuck up about this. Stop being so fucking whine. Cis-heteronormative. Cis shut the fuck up with that shit. I'm sorry. You can, again, you can talk about, you can talk about your experiences Fine. Talk about your experiences. What have you went through? And relay that to other people. And other people will, will get an idea of what you're going through. Okay? That will get people to think a little bit more than this fucking guilt bullshit. cis normative. God damn, I'm so sick of the shit. cis heteronormative standards, thus marginalizing women of color. What we need isn't just fair hiring, we need a radical reconceptualization of mathematics and a decolonizing framework. No matter where it's coming from, I hate racism, I do. I hate homophobia, I hate heterophobia, I hate cisphobia, I hate transphobia. I, I'm not into any of it. 